Are you suffering from back pain that's made worse with prolonged standing or walking, finding exercises such as planks and push-ups more problematic than they should be? Hey everyone, this is Dr. Zach Gruen here at Performance Sport and Spot, and today's video will be discussing what maybe protecting or overarching your back is actually causing your back pain. We'll talk about different posture modifications that you can utilize, and then stretches and exercises to help fix this long term. So back pain is a symptom, not a cause, and there's different reasons why our backs can hurt. And often in the clinic, I see people overarching or protecting their back because the fear of rounding or flexing may injure their spine. So one thing we need to clarify, we're not trying to demonize certain structures or certain postures. If you look at this picture next to me, people come in all different shapes and sizes and their curvature of their spines are different. For example, if you look at me, my upper back is more rounded and my lower back is more rounded than average, yet I have no pain. This is my genetics and I can't change it even if I wanted to. It'd be like trying to use an exercise to make yourself grow taller. It's just not going to happen. However, functionally, if I hold myself in one position for too long, much like this finger, if I pull it back, it hurts. If I stop, it goes away. Now, if I do this for six hours all day, it's gonna start really hurting. Same thing here. If the back is holding one position for too long, it becomes irritated and sensitized. The truth is, a healthy spine is a moving spine. I promise you, if you hold your back in any one position for long enough, you're gonna have pain. The problem is, we're taught that if our back hurt, we need to sit up straight or use our muscles more. Well, if this is the very position and activity that's causing this pain, this will only exacerbate it. So now we'll talk over some posture modifications, stretches, and exercises to help you get out of this problem. And again, these changes are only necessary if you have pain. Don't let me or anyone else tell you that if you have no pain that you need to fix it. If it's not broken, leave it alone. So here's two ways to kind of self-test yourself at home. In a standing position, lean back or face down, use your back muscles to lift your body up that we demonstrate here. If these positions increase your pain more than you think you should, this video is likely to help you. So with this condition, rotating your pelvis backwards can help. So if you think of your pelvis as kind of a bucket, by rolling the pelvis backwards or the imaginary bucket backwards, you can pour the water out the back. We'll go over two different kind of cues to help master this movement. So for two different pelvic cues to control your pelvis, you can pull your belly button to your belt buckle, which will posterior tilt your pelvis, or if it makes more sense, you can squeeze your abs and your glutes to achieve the same position. We recommend trying this two sets of 10 reps or until you feel comfortable to do this so you can master in other positions. Okay, for standing, we want our weight over our midfoot most of the time. So again, using that pelvic control exercise that we just taught you, we're gonna pull our pelvis backwards so our weight's over our midfoot and our center gravity is more lined up. Again, this is only necessary if it helps decrease your pain. If you have no pain, there's nothing to address. Now recover sitting. So when you sit down, place your hand on your low back and they demonstrate here. Do you feel your back relaxed or any motion created? If not, these cues may help. So the first thing is when you sit down, take a deep breath in and exhale and try to force your back to relax a little bit and feel some motion. Pulling your ribs backwards can help with this. Secondly, it may help to put your feet up on a step a little bit to help create that lumbar movement. And then lastly, just finding a lower chair that lets your knees be above your hips may relax the back some. The cat cow, on your hands and knees, we're gonna round our back up towards the ceiling and then arch it down towards the floor. Now this motion down towards the floor may be irritating, so just go as far as you feel no pain. Once you feel pain, stop. As you round your back up towards the ceiling, some cues that can help is pulling the ribs up towards the ceiling and squeezing our glutes. And again, we wanna focus on the five lower bones of your spine and really try to create motion in those joints. Typically, people respond well to two sets of 10 to 12 reps each day. So the rock back on our hands and knees, we're gonna use our hands to push our buttocks back onto our heels. When we do this motion, we're gonna make effort to not hold our breath and not guard our spine. We're trying to create motion in our low back and not use our back muscles themselves, but use overpressure with our hands and then try to go farther with each rep. Again, people typically respond well to two sets of eight to 10 reps about five times a week. So knees to chest, we're gonna pull our knees up towards our chest. Before we do, we wanna flatten our back towards the floor and then provide some light overpressure and stretch our knees towards our chest, bring them back down, again, flatten our back and pull our knees towards our chest. Make sure you don't guard or arch your back. That will cause more discomfort. Some people may find that they initially just need to do one leg at a time because two legs is too provocative and that's fine. And then progress to two legs. And again, about two sets of 10 reps, five times a week. And then marching can be helpful. So in a standing position, we're just gonna kind of pull one leg up at a time, provide some overpressure with our arms and then alternate. Again, you may need to stand against the wall for some balance. If so, just use one arm. But again, really driving that knee up as high as you can will relax the low back. This is probably better to do two sets of six every other day. And then the last option is sing glide. So placing your hands on your thighs, we're gonna slide our hands down as we squat down and then come back up. Now you may find it more beneficial just to do kind of partial range of motion and then over time kind of increase it. But again, this gives a sense of stability and it helps kind of provide full range of motion 
two sets of 10 reps every other day. And then some exercises to temporarily avoid are supermans, cobras, and good mornings. Again, if the back is already irritated into extension, just adding more extension is just gonna make it worse. Often with this issue, playing some push-ups are hard, and we're gonna go over a little cue that can help you kind of emphasize the anterior core and put less stress on your back. So again, in that starting position, before you kind of start to load everything, roll your pelvis backwards and then lift up onto your knees. To progress that, go onto your toes, but make sure most attention is on your anterior core and you're keeping that pelvis rolled forward so you feel less stress on your back. And then the last thing we wanna cover is the deadlift. So with this problem, we see a lot of people having lots of pain with the deadlift and it's very scary, but often small tweaks can really help. So when you're deadlifting, if your back is excessively arched, as you lift the weight, you're gonna use your back more than your hips. So what you can often do is find a light weight, get into that starting position, kind of pull your rib cage in, and then really focus on pulling your hips forward rather than arching your back and then progressing the weight. And then the second thing is instead of squeezing your shoulder blades together, engage your lats. So kind of think about crushing oranges in your armpits or putting your elbows into your opposite pockets. Thank you so much for watching our video on back pain. It can be very scary, but often small tweaks can really help. We hope you found this video beneficial. If you did, please like our video and subscribe to our channel.